The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 31. You get the NASDAQ off 35. S&Ps are off uh, 6.5. We take a look percentage-wise out here. You get the Dow down one-tenth of a percent. The S&Ps down two. NASDAQ is the culprit. The NASDAQ is down a half a percent. Um, notes. The 10-year note up five ticks, trading 125.25. 30-year bond up a half a point, 154.08. We have the gold market down 22 bucks, trading 12.93 an ounce. That got down to 12.91 out here today. Silver, silver's down 37 cents, $16.95 an ounce. Copper market off a couple pennies at 2.94 a pound. Light sweet crude down 42 cents, $50.28 a barrel. No uh, bonds. I mean, uh, King Dollar. King Dollar down 176 ticks, 92.120. King Dollar caught a big bid yesterday, folks. Had price spread, had volume, had all of it. The euro's at 119 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 112 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TG Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here at TFNN, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, you want to understand the option market upside down. You want to understand the futures. You want to understand how markets move. TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, they have a great show. You can get it right on your cell phone. If you happen to be going down the East Coast or West Coast right now, West Coast, 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, remember, right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com, you hit Tiger TV. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Mr. O'Brien. Happy Thursday. How you doing? Happy Thursday. It's a beautiful thing. Well, listen, you know, we, we got the Fed statement. Uh, we got markets moving. Uh, someone's taking a bite out of Apple and their suppliers, by the way. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, um, Apple, uh, pretty significant weakness here. This, you know, day, what is this, day three now? Yep. And it's been, it's been pretty soft. And I know you're, you're not technical, but I know, you know, Kevin, I, you got to watch out, man. I'm, I'm listening to you every day and you're getting more technical. You're getting, <laughs> you're getting like, they're giving you some brainwashing over there, man. <laughs> they, they will not, they will not bring me, I will uh, not go to the dark side, Tom. Uh, <laughs> fundamentals, always fundamentals. I love it. I, I had to yeah. give it to you, man. No, I'm telling I know, you. I, I love, I love your program, and it every, it just cracked me up when, when you know, you said, well, you know, that shot. <laughs> well, yeah. So I'm going to tell you, as, as I'm, I'm, as I'm saying, hey, Apple's in danger now because it's in that gap. There's not, there's not much holding this thing to like 150, man. So. Yeah, you're right. You're, yeah. you're actually right. It's kind of it closed a pretty. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm looking at Apple on the chart here. It's uh, it's got to weather a little storm here. Yeah. That's for sure. I love it. Right? I, love I mean, it. Janet Yellen. Uh, you know, I I thought her comments were pretty interesting yesterday. You know, I thought she was hawkish in terms of interest rates. I think she left December on the table. I think it's a real possibility now, higher even than, than yeah. before. But her projections for GDP were frightening. How poor they were. Right. And she, what what was intriguing, right, for sure, is that they they're saying now that they don't know what's going on with inflation. <laughs> as, right. the, as the rest of us don't, right? I mean, seriously, right? right? Yeah, she she got it. some of her statements was she basically said she's a little surprised. Right. That, right. that there has been more inflation because they're getting job growth and, and wage growth. Sure. Right? It's starting to show up. So the next thing should be Price inflation. Right. Yeah, there's no, there's no doubt. And, you know, I guess, you know, we've, we've, through the years, it always seems that the stuff that we do need keep going up. I mean, right? right? I mean, you know, right. whether it's... I love it. It's always made me laugh, Tom, when they when they take out food and energy. Right, oh, yeah, you know, great, exactly. We don't, we don't move anywhere and we don't eat anything. Right. No, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. It always, it, it always surprised me. Yeah. So, you know, when we take a look at where... Coming to the uh, end of the month, well, end of the month again, um, coming into October, coming into the fall, it looks like we're going to uh, basically, you know, get some action going here. Right. But look at the VIX. The VIX is yeah. 10. I know. Still. I, it, I mean, Apple has now sold off. Let's see. Apple is now down about $11 off its high. Yep. 
right? The market has got some risk in it. I wouldn't say it's zero, but boy, a 10 VIX, that is, and it's up. It had to rally the time to get to a 10 VIX. So, and, you know, yesterday it, it did, and it, it was intriguing yesterday, even when Apple stock going south, I'm saying, what is keeping the NASDAQ up? Because, of course, Apple is the largest waiting, but sure. guess what? You know, that, that baby, I mean, it was down a bit, but it still had strength. And so inside that NASDAQ, you still got strength inside that NASDAQ, man. Right. You know? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, I, I think there's a little, you know, we've seen this before in Apple. Apple has broke, you know, fairly hard. Just look back to, you know, late su or to early summer. Oh, yeah. It went from the mid-150s to almost, you know, in the low 140s. Right, right. So well, it, can, it can significantly break and correct. And that's, you know, if you look at the last, oh, what? Ten, two, 10 days, two weeks in Apple, not a very pretty looking picture. Yeah, and that makes sense, right? I mean, the reality is that, you know, you know, if you look back here, you know, Apple in May of uh, 2016 was 89 bucks. You know, right. It goes to 164. You know, you're That's not right. going to go up forever. You're not going to go down forever. And, and let's face it, Tom, it's not like they brought out anything brand new and and earth changing. Right, in, right. In that in that announcement, so all they're doing is making the phone better, and that's good. That's a good thing. Let's face it. Th this iPhone X is the best iPhone that there's ever been. Yes, right. They they, they can easily say, but. They didn't really change the world for anybody. No, and we want the world changed, especially with right. Apple, right? Yeah. Right, exactly, and, that, and that's what I think those stockholders demand from them. You know, they want that Steve Jobs moment when he says, oh, yeah, and one more thing. And then, and then yes. he comes out with his big announcement, and, and they, they just haven't had one of those in a while. Mm. But, you know, Apple's got their built-in community, though, of, of loyal oh. followers that will never leave. It's huge. It is right. absolutely. That, and it's built in, Tom. Yeah, it's built in, and it's not going anywhere. There's no doubt, right. you know. Right. Because so, little, little by little, I mean, I'm, I'm still on Android, and I have been for a long time. But every time that I watch someone with an Apple phone, I says, you know, they, they, they get around that phone much quicker than I get around my phone. Do you know what I mean? It's like... Yep. I mean, I, I have to admit, I am a long-time iPhone um, holder. Yep. And right. it's hard to leave. No, it, I, you won't it, leave. It, yeah, right. it, it doesn't exactly. make any sense. So they've got these built-in customers. So, you know, stocks are going to go up and go down, right? Stocks get overbought. And remember, they rallied it into the earnings. So really, all it's done, Tom, really, in essence, and, well, this last move, it's gotten back to mid-June and the levels from mid-June. Sure. Right? So, you know, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm not in the panic mode, especially wa watching a VIX trade 10. I'm not, in, I'm not in any, my heart rate is not over 100. Let's well, and, and you know what happens, folks, is that this is why when we talk options, you know, it's a beautiful thing. You know, you, you're not talking $153 stock. <laughs> that's the bottom right. line is that you got to, that's why options are so fantastic when you're either hedging or when you're trading in general, you know, yep. different ball game, man. I agree. And, and, you know, it's, you can, the good news is, if you're an options trader, right, yes. you can be prepared and fundamentally sound for any move this market makes. Yeah. Right? And the downside wouldn't scare you if you're, if you're an options trader. That's right. Right here, folks, 45 minutes. Go to TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the program in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me, Tom. Thanks so much. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 31. NASDAQ is off 32. S&Ps are off 6.5. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 32. You get the Nasdaq off 37. S&Ps are off six and a half. Let's go uh, inside these markets first and see what we have happening. With uh, Dow Industrials, we'll take a look at the Dow first. Strength versus the weakness. Uh, the strength inside the Dow, you get Home Depot putting four positive points. Goldman putting four. 3M putting two. Uh, taken away from it, the culprit's Apple. Apple's putting 18 negative points. Procter & Gamble, four. Johnson & Johnson, three. Walmart, three. Microsoft, two. Inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness. Um, let's see. So we have uh, Amazon is uh, down uh, eight bucks. You got Intuitive Surgical down six. You get NVIDIA down six. Oh, NVIDIA, we'll go back to that in a second. Go, uh, Google's down five. You got Priceline down four. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, green inside the NDX 100. You got Biomolin uh, up on one point. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, you really uh, have some problems in paradise here. So percentage-wise, JD.com JD is uh, down 4%. NVIDIA is down 3 NetEase is down 2 Let's go to NVIDIA for a second. NVDA, because when NVIDIA goes south, it, it goes south pretty quick. Um, NVIDIA right now is down $6.45. Uh, this is, let's see, are we back inside? Yeah, you can, as soon as you get back inside 180, it's going to be dangerous here. So back inside 180, you can get you 172. Uh, if we go over to the SMHs, we take a look at those SMHs. Uh, SMHs out here, they're down 42 cents right now. That's not the end of the world for the SMHs, that's for sure. Um, that's going to need some volume. But the SMHs do have high volume low from yesterday, which is going to get tested, which is 90.21. If we go into the futures market, we take a look at futures, what you're going to see is this. Uh, so you come out with a statement yesterday, bottom line, um, market goes south. You have a high volume low, 59.30. Uh, you come all the way back top side again, where we started from at the close. We came down today to 59.31. Now, what we did here is this, which is saying that you're going to be right back down to these levels. So if we had hit the 59.30 intraday and rejected it 
it would have been a, if you're a bull, that's what you wanted to happen. If you're a bear, what happened here is pretty cool uh, because we stopped right before it. And what we've done thus far is you, you have 20 minutes to build some cars. I'm talking 10 minute bars now when you're going sideways. Bottom line, when you do that, your probability gets higher. The further that we build cars, meaning going sideways here, next, let's say we go sideways next 10 to 20 minutes, bottom line, that is saying it's going to make a run for it, number one, and we'll see whether uh, it gets the strength. But the longer that it does go sideways, the more probability is that it will get the strength to break it. Now, we get over and we take a look at the uh, S&Ps. Let's take a look at the S&Ps. So S&Ps, and this is pretty cool, the S&Ps haven't got down to that level yet. The number on the S&Ps, which, uh, which is 29, no, 2494. We've hit 2496. So you, when you put both of those together, the probability is pretty cool that you are going to get there, number one. But number two is that that's saying that the NASDAQ is actually going to break it. Because if the S&Ps are going to get down into this and test the lows of yesterday, which is 2494, which is three points lower, your probability goes much higher that inside the NDX 100, it's going to basically blow that pot and blow that right out. Actually, let's go back over here as we're, as we're talking and believe it's doing that. Um, there it is. Okay, so we just blew it out. Uh, and let's see, you're going to have the volume. You blew it out, and you're going to have the volume. Right now, if I pull this back a bit, so we're at 57. Well, we'll see. It. We'll see. We're going to need the the 10 minute. But this is this to me. It looks to me like you're going to blow it out. You're only two minutes into this bar. This is going to be a monster bar as it's taken apart. And when you look at price-wise, price projection-wise here, this is what you can have. Um, you just take the bottom of that bar, which is the uh, 59.30, you take it to the top of the bar, which is uh, the 59.80, <laughs> and that comes up with 58.70 that you can actually move down to. So it's a pretty, it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty extensive move that you have out here. 877-927-6648. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume stocks uh, in this market right now. Advanced Micro is down six. Uh, you get uh, Apple off three. Transocean is down 68. Micron Tech is uh, off 54. Uh, Marathon Oil is up 27 cents. Uh, Anadarko is up 357. That's got, that's got quite a bit. Let's see what's going on over here. So APC, Anadarko up 350. Someone taking them over? Uh, let's see. Mm, doesn't say much. Bottom line, though, that's, that's caught a nice bid, man. There's no doubt about that. Oh, uh, well, I see. It makes sense we caught a bid because you're down in six months from $64 uh, down to... 45, uh, you, you, yeah, so um, it would make sense to get some kind of a bid out here. The, uh, let's go to King Dollar, actually, let's go to gold. So we go over to gold, we take a look at gold. They smoked gold, gets down to a price point of uh, 1291. Let's put this volume up here. We're going to have monster volume out here today, by the way. So 1284, 1281. The number to keep your eye on is the 1298. So we're at 1295. It looks to me like, you know, when this went topside, it started out on the 25th. It was at 1281. Goes to 1301. Following day goes from 1297 to 1317. So your 1297 is the number to keep your eye on. And what that would be is that that's where we went topside. If you get a re rejection of that price out here today, this thing will bounce somewhere up to the 1319 area. Um, and I would expect what you're going to get, you actually you'd get that 1319 probably by tomorrow. Because what we do have is that the coming into a Friday and a high vol to week, you know, you're going to expect some action out here. 877-927-6648. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, let's go over to 
We'll get into this uh, natural gas market. So if we go to the Nadex platform, let's go take a look at natural gas and see where natural gas is trading right now. Uh, natural gas numbers. Let's see. Gas, gas, gas. There we are. Okay, so natural gas, we're trading at $3.02, and we are going to be uh, at 10.30. We're going to get those natural gas numbers out. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 28. NASDAQ is off 47. S&Ps are off 7 bucks. We're going to be right back, folks. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market-safe emerging currency CD from EverBank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. EverBank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, U.S., uh, let's see, uh, EIA says U.S. natural gas stockpiles rose 97 billion cubic feet. Uh, gas inventories right now are at 3.41 trillion cubic feet. Uh, bottom line, uh, that uh, just took the natural gas market uh, from a 303 down to 299. Uh, so bottom line is that uh, lots of gas out here. Let's take a look. Uh, so right there. 
Yeah, U.S. natural gas stockpiles rose 97 billion cubic feet. Lots of gas, well, lots of gas out here. So uh, let's go take a look at uh, UNG. Uh, UNG right now, that just, uh, that's at 663, down 22 cents. Uh, that, yesterday was trading at uh, 682. It looks like it's going to try to get back into this. Uh, well, it's not that bad. Well, 6 to, 642 would be the next level uh, that 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 baby would want to go after. 877-927-6648. That's quite that's that's quite a hit. There's no doubt about that. That's quite a hit out here. Let's go over and take a look at the um, NDX 100. So what we have out here today, which is different than yesterday, uh, is this. The, the selling is not as fast. Now, two different things end up happening when the selling is not as fast, folks. Your probability goes higher that you can get sustained selling. That's how this uh, shakes out uh, in the marketplace. So the first leg down in, inside the NDX 100 took it from uh, 59.80 uh, to 59.21. Uh, anything under this, of course, 59.32, that's just building costs for lower price. Uh, we go to take a look at the uh, E-minis. You get the same type of setup in the E-minis. I don't think the E-minis actually have hit the lows yet. No, they haven't. And that's, that's where the, this is where the real danger comes in, actually, for the NASDAQ, too. Uh, what you have is that the uh, E-minis thus far have not got to the, the high-volume swing low from yesterday. We got to 24.96. Uh, the 2494 is the number that you want to keep your eye on there. Yeah, 2494. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, Amazon, AMZN. Uh, Amazon, of course, uh, the big dog out here. Uh, Amazon right now is down $8.90. And it's not the end of the world for Amazon, that's for sure. Uh, what would happen is that if we, yesterday, uh, we hit that low of 962, the ones that you want to watch those numbers from yesterday, because uh, if it can get some goose, get get some momentum going uh, down at those lower levels, that'll make a big difference. Uh, back to NVIDIA. NVIDIA right now is uh, down $7. So, so that's getting some juice on the way down. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Uh, that is getting some juice on the way down. In fact, uh, if I look at this, I think it's an intraday ABC structure on the way down. So... No, well, it broke it. It didn't break it with volume, though. We take a look at Intel. Uh, actually, I want to go to the financials. So, J.P. Morgan Chase. Okay, this is going to be pretty cool watching this. And, and what it is, folks, is this. You have the Federal Reserve saying, number one, they're going to start their balance sheet runoff in October. They're going to... They want to bring short-term interest rates up another 25 basis points before the end of the year, and that should basically have the banks make a lot of money. That's the real bottom line. So you have J.P. Morgan right at the highs right now. You know, yesterday uh, it got to a high of 95.29. It did not close there, however, but it had volume. So we're going up there to test that level. Now, if, in fact, you have lighter volume and you fail once again, that's going to be a big heads up. And that heads up would be the aspect that it doesn't, it's not going to make it over these highs. Let's go, so that's J.P. Morgan. Let's go to Bank of America because Bank of America, J.P. Morgan, they're set up the exact same. Uh, Bank of America right now is at 2511 and the number to keep your eye on is 2524. We've hit uh, 2522 thus far. The XLF Inside the XLF, that number, well, it's going to be interesting, it already failed. So the XLF, 25, 25.49. So the XLF has already done it. Let, let's go intraday and look at this. So the XLF has already done, it gapped over it. I see, you're on the open, it gapped over it. Interesting. So this is the number to keep your eye on. Um, we'll see whether the XLF can, can make it or break it. And what that would mean... Um, if it makes it, that brings you probability higher that, in fact, the Fed will put short term rates up again by December or in December. And then what the Fed Reserve also said is that they were looking to raise rates three times in 2018. You know, so 
We'll see uh, how that uh, whole thing shakes out. The uh, Berkshire BRK, let's go to Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway had already broken topside. That's still topside. Berkshire is 183. Berkshire would have to get back under, realistically, uh, get back under 179. So that'd be four points lower. Uh, Wells Fargo, that's the dog out here. It's still not bad, but yeah, it's the dog. It's at 54 bucks. That, uh, that high out there is 56. That's what that would have to uh, get into in order to basically get up and over those levels. We take a look at the end, just the three Qs in general. So the three Qs yesterday, they had a, a high volume intraday low of 144.23, and we're going to blow that away today. So what you have is this. You have an expansion of volume. You have got under the swing. That sets up that the probability is pretty good that you're going to start going after the lower end of this consolidation, which is 140.18. Uh, if we get inside, uh, this is going to be pretty cool watching this. So watch this, folks. There's going to be a huge amount of support at 143.90. And we made it to 144 today. Well, where the 143.90 is, that is the high of June 9th. And that's when the NASDAQ got smoked. Now, what ends up happening with a high or a low that has huge volume like this, first time down, you get big, you get big support. And so, I, you know, that, it's, it's interesting that it stopped flat in the tracks at 144 this morning. The number there, though, is 143.90. That's the number you want to keep, on, uh, keep uh, your eye on. And I do expect, uh, this being this early in the morning, you're going to see uh, a lot of cars being built all day long. Because as I said a little bit earlier, uh, the aspect of uh, the bulls and bears, uh, this is certainly uh, just the beginning of the day. Uh, but what, what you don't have here is that you, you haven't had the fast acceleration, uh, on, it looked like this was fast, but it actually wasn't fast on the way down. It was a test of those levels on the way down. And, uh, you know, the way the bond market is, is still trading out here, bond market is bottom line saying, let we go take a look at that 10-year. Uh, what the bond market is saying is that it rejected lower price yesterday. Uh, this morning, you got a couple decent bids in this. Uh, and right now, the intraday high of 125.29 has volume, folks. So that's saying that that also wants to get tested before, well, it doesn't have to get tested before the end of the day, but if you trade an intraday, you could basically say that you could go after that uh, price point. Dow Industrials right now down 11, NASDAQ's off 43, S&P's are down 5.5. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m.
Topics that Todd will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down uh, 13. Nasdaq's off 45. S&P's are off uh, five and a half. And uh, the Nasdaq is the culprit out here. Nasdaq is down seven tenths of one percent. The Dow must be flat. Um, S&P's are down uh, three tenths of one percent. Folks, September 30th, uh, happen to be in the New England area. You want a great uh, education? You want a great workshop? Um, we are going to be up at the Boston Marriott, which is in Burlington, Mass., September 30th. It's hard to believe that's only a week from this Saturday. It's, time is just pretty wild, man. Um, it's a free workshop. Uh, we're going to be going from a quarter eight in the morning until one in the afternoon. The workshop is sponsored by Nadex. Uh, if you go over to our website in the front page of TFNN, you're going to see um, the schedule. The scheduling, we're going to start at 7.45 in the morning to 8.30. That's going to be a continental breakfast. You're going to have welcome remarks by a man, Mr. Dan Cook from Nadex. My son Tommy is going to be talking about the um, spreads and the uh, binaries. I'm going to be up for an hour and a half from 9 to 10.30, uh, talking quality volume, cause and effect, the ABC structures, swing points and testing. Coffee break for 15 minutes. Daryl Martin is going to be up there for an additional hour and a half. And then Daryl and I are going to take questions for an additional 75, uh, 45 minutes. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, we're going to be out there growling and prowling. And uh, there's no doubt uh, at these uh, highs out here, it's going to get interesting to see uh, exactly today uh, after the Fed statement. Um, bottom line, what the market's going to do. Uh, if we take a look at the SPY out here, it's, you know, the SPY right now, uh, it's trading down 64 cents. You're at 249.42. Uh, this has, you know, the if you've closed down today, you'd, you'd have a start. But this has to actually get inside 248 to really get down to lower prices. Uh, it did have a uh, view into candlestick charting yesterday. It's had a lot of small little candles at the very top, and yesterday was a classic uh, hammer. Now with a classic hammer. Uh, what you're looking for, I mean, a classic hanging man. Uh, hanging mans are at highs, uh, ham hammers are at lows. Uh, that's a classic. And, and the confirmation would be a lower close today. You get a lower close today, then you get uh, action uh, on the downside. Your probability goes higher that that's where you're going to go. Uh, we go over to the, uh, let's see if the NQs just did another leg down here. The NQs, man, the NQs can drag this market down a second. Yeah, the NQs. So you're at 59.20. Remember, the, the number to keep your, well, not to keep your eye on, but um, where this price projection could go is 58.70. And where the 58.70 is coming from is that when we broke the lows of yesterday, uh, that puts in that puts in place uh, that that type of move, and you know it wouldn't take in, inside the NDX 100. That doesn't take a lot to do because once they start selling the NDX 100, um, they move pretty quickly. Uh, the uh, because those stocks, of course, have been so high. 
the NVIDIA, the last time NVIDIA starts selling off, uh, that was a fast and furious event. The NASDAQ itself has given us a couple different warnings that it wants tr tremendously lower price. Let's go over to the dollar index and take a look at the dollar. What's going to be the wild card out here is this dollar index. And it looks to me like it does want higher price. <clears throat> Excuse me. 93.80 is game. Uh, yesterday was a heck of a day. Uh, that, there she is. It traded from a price point of 91.215 to 92.495. Now that's almost 1,200 ticks higher. That is a big number. So it's just taking a break out here today. And what uh, I do expect, it's going to be interesting to see how we move into the swing point of 93.840. Because if you move into the swing point of 93.840 and you do have volume moving into that swing point, what that's going to do, uh, that is going to bring it. Uh, a much higher probability that you're are going to go a lot further than just that little swing point. Because the reality is, is that the king dollar has not been able to catch a bid all the way since April 10th. And if we just look at a point three eight two retracement, you're talking about 94.640. And that normally, you know, a point three eight two retracement of the move is a considered a dead cat bounce. So we'll see where the, the whole thing wants to shake out. Let's go into the uh, gold market. We'll take a look at uh, Barrick Gold, which is the largest weighting structure uh, inside the GDX. Uh, this is a good setup. Um, what I mean by a good setup is that, you know, Barrick yesterday had a volume of 11.9 million. You're at 2.6 right now. You're coming into 24 million. So the number to keep your eye on is $16.09. That's you want to be closing over that. Uh, if Barrett closes at 16 over 16.34, 16.39, you really get action. Meaning that I suspect that would be um, the end of the golds and silvers pulling back, uh, and that's the build cause for higher price again. If we take a look at Newmont, Newmont's already done it. Uh, Newmont uh, went from a price point of 38.70 to 38.37.15 yesterday. We got the 37.07. It rejected it. Wants higher price. Let's go to Rangel Resources. Take a look at Rangel. So Rangel goes right back to, uh, yeah, Rangel's a good setup. So Rangel broke out from $97.80. <laughs> we hit 97.85 today. Man, these will be classics if they actually, you know, do it right at that this particular point, meaning they come all the way back to the breakout area, which was a nice run up, have light of volume, reject it, and go topside. It'd be absolutely wild. Uh, Franco Nevada, FNV. The reason I'm saying it is wild. It, it would be like almost too perfect, folks. <laughs> uh, Franco Nevada, 79.24. Eh, guess what? It went 78.35 and it's rejected it. So that's a, that's a good setup, too. Royal Gold, let's go take a look at Royal Gold. Yeah, Royal Gold's doing the same thing. It's going to be interesting. So the break top side in Royal Gold was 89.28. We went to 89.13. Rejected it. It's going to be, okay, what's, what's going to make gold move? Buying, of course. That's, that's what makes gold move. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Uh, Apple, Apple's still the weak dog out here, no doubt. Uh, SWKS, so Skyworks. Yep, Skyworks is going is going right right along with Apple. Skyworks yesterday, folks, traded from 108 to 101. Now you're dealing with uh, 10131. That's going to be that's going at. It looks to me, Skyworks wants to go after 98 dollars. 98 is the high of the low. AVGO, that's another Apple supplier. Uh, AVGO down four bucks right now. That traded to 237.86 yesterday. We've hit 238.18. Yeah, these are, all these equities are going right after their swing lows from yesterday. So if you're watching equities, folks, you want to see how do they handle those swing lows. Uh, if they hand, if they come into them and they come into what light of volume, bottom line, uh, they, they'll bounce right out of there again. You build some cars, they come into them with volume, guess what? That's when you'll see those things break down. Some of the Dow stocks out here, 
We have the, uh, let's see, you get American Express down 16 cents, Caterpillar's down 19, Boeing up again. That's up 25 cents, 255. Big Blue is down 15 cents, you get 3M up 33. Procter & Gamble's down 86. You get uh, GE up 20, GM is up 9. Um, AMD, yeah, AMD did a deal, uh, doing a deal with uh, Tesla. Uh, AMD is trading. trading. Trade C H A U or C H A D. Directions daily. CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Equifax, you think they don't have enough trouble, folks? Okay, so check it out. Equifax is trading $97, right? We go back and we take a look at this, and you're going to see that on um, uh, the 7th of September, it's at $143. Following day, it's at $125. Well, guess what? Now what you have is that you have inside the option market, uh, there was a couple monster trades prior to the gap down. And in fact, the more puts were bought than ever uh, than since 2005. They were bought on the 21st of August. Let's see, the 21st of August. Okay, so they were bought on the 21st of August. Yeah, when, and the stock's trading 140. Bottom line, um, we're, we're going to see uh, a few people go to jail uh, between the insider trading uh, that was done by the executives of Equifax, and then we'll find out, uh, it's, it, it will be very easy for the uh, option market to find out uh, who uh, had all those options, folks, particularly uh, when you have uh, those amount of 
puts or calls, in this case there were puts, traded, and they hadn't been, that much hadn't been traded since 2005, so you're talking about 12 years, and then all of a sudden the, gap, the stock gaps down, uh, let's see, so <laughs> we, we gapped down, uh, yeah, from 144, you open the next day at uh, 121, and four days later, you're at $89. Uh, bottom line, that's going to be trouble in paradise they, for someone. They're probably, uh, they were probably happy when it happened, but guess what? There's going to be too much attention being paid right there. You stay right there, folks. Uh, coming up next, of course, we got swim lessons. We're going to go from swim lessons uh, to our, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon, folks. Uh, have a great one. Have a safe one. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.